And as the ladies, Nicole here from Nikki's Delicious Jowls. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use a hybrid gel with your forms. So, um, this is the hybrid gel I'll be using today. It's a natural, it's 0017. It's very, very highly pigmented and smooth and has got not, none of those nasty little grains in it. Right. Now, these are the dual forms. This one is the YS dual form, and I'm going to show you clearly show you the difference between the normal dual forms and the YS dual forms. Right. So, first of all, this is the YS dual forms. I don't know if you can see, um, but it's got quite a C curve to it, and it also has lines here. So you can measure the length of the nail a lot easier. Then you've got the normal dual form, so it goes like that there. These are totally reusable ladies. This one hasn't got such a C curve to it. Okay. Um, as you can see it's quite flat and it doesn't have lines on it to measure the length of the nail. So this one I really love this one how it fits on the nail. And these come in 312 packs and they are 250 for 312 packs. So as you can see ladies, you can measure the length a lot easier. It's got a higher C curve and it really fits every single size nail. Alright, okay, let's get started. Okay ladies, so I've already prepped this nail, um, just lightly buffed the natural nail to take the shine off and any oils, and now I'm going to dehydrate the nail, just so it can get all oils or natural oils off the nail, so that the product has got better adhesion to the natural nail. I'm going to wait for that to dry. And as you can see, it becomes milky, so you know that's dry. Then we're going to use a sticky bond. And you're going to put two coats of the sticky bond. Okay, let that dry for a bit. Okay, so now you're going to put the second coat of Sticky Bond. And this will allow the hybrid gel to adhere to the natural nail. Okay, I'm going to wait for that to dry a bit and then I'm going to show you how to apply the product in the dual forms and get these delicious nails. So, um, yes, so this is about ready. Okay, let's move on to the dual form. Right, so what you will need is your dual form. You will need a cuticle pusher. It's got the small side and the larger side and you're going to dip your cuticle pusher into alcohol which is your slip solution which makes it manageable because all hybrids are a very very sticky medium so you're going to dip it in like this and leave it in there now you're going to take your hybrid gel and you're going to press a nice amount. Look at that, ladies. Look at that. Okay, you're going to press a nice, long, nice bead. Obviously, shorter nails, you're going to make it shorter. Okay, and you're going to just roll it off 
and you're going to place it in the dual form. Make sure that you there is the, the well, that would be the cuticle area. So now you're going to place it where you want the length of the nail. Okay, so that's where you're going to place it. You're going to take the larger side. You're going to dip it into your alcohol slip solution. Oh, sorry. There we go. Now you're just going to pat it into the dual form. Bring it down to the cuticle area, which is going to be thinner at the cuticle area. Okay. You can also take your gel brush if you need to. And make sure that you tap your gel brush off so there's not too much of the slip solution. Because if you put too much slip solution, it won't adhere to the natural nail either. Okay, making sure that your side walls are covered, making sure that your cuticle area is fairly thin, and if you've got any extra product, you can just wipe it away. Okay, ladies, so as you can see, the coverage is beautiful. Now, when you place the dual form, you're not going to rock it on like you do a tip. You're going to place it at the cuticle area, like that. Hang on. At the cuticle area, like that. And you're just going to press down, but not too hard, because then you're going to get some product flooding out, and then you're going to get a mess. Okay. So then you're going to turn your hand around. You're going to ask your client to turn the hand around. Just so you can see underneath. Now, if you haven't pressed too hard, you won't get too much of a blooper. Okay? But if you have pushed too hard, you're going to get like a very nasty blob. Here, you're just going to... The, here, you're just going to do this very lightly. Just going to pat it off. And also make sure that you get any remaining product out and pat it down. Just like this. So you don't get, you know, a lot of you ladies say it gets very thick the side. And um, yeah, you want to try and avoid that. So you're going to do this. Okay, I'm just using a little art brush here, but you can use your gel brush and you can make a nice little well there. Okay, and you're going to ask your client to turn her hand over. Okay, so as you can see, ladies, there's no mess around the cuticle. Um, the finger is 100% um, flush. The... the the dual form is flush, it's not pressed down hard, so you're not getting all that mess around there. There's no air bubbles, and now you can put it into the LED lamp for 30 to 60 seconds, depending on the wattage of your lamp. And a UV lamp, 36 watt UV lamp, you're going to put it in for two minutes. Okay, lady, now remember... When you have the nails or the do your your client's hands in the LED lamp, you're also going to ask your client to turn around their hand like this, so that underneath the dual forms can also cure. Now, what I do is I do this for at least a minute before I pop off the the dual form to make sure that underneath 